the Senegal forward exchanged a blistering 1-2 with Roberto Firmino before he buried his shot from 8 metres past Fulham keeper Sergio Rico, who then denied Andy Robertson and Van Dijke the side of half-time. A calamitous Van Dijke error gifted Fulham a 74th-minute equaliser, as his poor header back to keeper Alisson. Becker was intercepted by former Liverpool winger Babel who stroked the ball into an empty net. Another howler, this time by Rico, decided the contest as the keeper spilled a tame Mohamed Salah shot and then hauled down Main who pounced on the rebound, leaving Milner to stroke. Home the winner from the spot, it was an average game but a sensational result, Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp said, for 5-10 minutes before the equaliser we had so many little mistakes. We had controlled the game completely then we gave Fulham the ball. We had a very intense week, I was sure we wouldn't panic and wouldn't show the nerves that you are all waiting for. We are long enough in this situation. It's difficult for other teams to beat us so that means we have a chance to win the title. Klopp is banking on his team maintaining momentum in a bid to win their first league title since 1990 and, with little room for error, backed his side to take the race down to the wire. It doesn't look like City will drop a lot of points so we have to win and win, he said. It's very important we won today. You could see our reaction after the game. Everton sing Chelsea goals from forward Rich Allison and midfielder Gilfie Sigurdsson helped Everton beat Chelsea 2-0, denting the London side's hopes of finishing in the top four. Brazil's Rich Allison headed Marco Silva's side in front from close range in the 49th minute after Kepa Arizabalaga had kept out striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin's powerful header from Sigurdsson's corner. Everton went 2-0 up in the 72nd minute when Sigurdsson put the ball past a rise Balaga from the rebound after his penalty kick was saved by the Chelsea goalkeeper following a foul in the box on Rich Allison by Marcos Alonso. Chelsea's Jorginho gives chase to Everton's Gilfie Sigurdsson. Credit. P.A. It would be easier for me just to speak about the second half. The first half I didn't like it at all, we were not there from the first minute. Silva told Sky Sports, I told our players at half-time they have to do everything different. And they did. They showed great attitude, character and personality. Everton climbed to 11th with 40 points from 31 matches while defeat meant that 6th place Chelsea stayed on 57 points from 30 games, a point behind Manchester United above them and 3 points behind 4th placed Arsenal. Coach Mo Rizzio Sarri was at a loss to explain his side's collapse. I don't know and the players don't know what happened in the second half, the Italian said, I cannot explain it. We played the best first half in the season and we could have scored 4 or 5 and then suddenly we stopped playing. It's strange and we stopped to defend and counter-attack, the problem was mental on the pitch, so the system and the tactics are not important. It wasn't about motivation because we started very well. We have to play 8 matches now and we have to fight for our possibilities, Reuters, DPA.